I'm gonna show you how to put a strap button on your guitar. First things first, putting a strap button on your guitar correctly will not harm the value of the instrument. I get asked that question a ton. And remember, we wanna use these guitars. We wanna play them. They're tools to make music with. So anything that helps us do so, I think is an upgrade and you should definitely do if you're comfortable in doing so. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to put a strap button on your guitar. Now this is gonna involve drilling into your guitar. So if you're uncomfortable with that, take it to your local music store or your local luthier and they'll be able to do it for you. For those of you that are, dare I say, carpenter-ish, you guys can give it a try. It's really not that difficult, but it takes a little bit of confidence. So what you're gonna need is a drill, Phillips head screwdriver, a strap button with a felt protector, a drill bit, in this case, a 5 64th inch drill bit, and some non-stick or non-tack tape, like blue painter's tape, or in this case, gaff tape. So if you've got those things, and your guitar, let's get going. Step one involves no tools at all, just you and your guitar. And this is really the most crucial step. You wanna position the guitar in front of you so that the high E string is furthest away. I know this seems like a weird step, but we wanna make sure we put the strap button on the correct side of the neck, because if we put it on the wrong side of the neck, it will do us no good whatsoever. So the guitar is laying in front of you, the high E string is far away, and you're gonna tilt that bottom end of the guitar, that high E string, towards you. That will reveal the right portion of the neck that we plan on putting the strap button in. Now that location is gonna be right here, basically right in the crook of the neck, where the neck comes down and the heel comes up. Right in the fattest part, we're gonna go at about a 45 degree angle, towards the body of the guitar, okay? Following that contour, right about right there. To make sure that I know what spot I'm drilling into, since I only get one chance at this, I'm gonna tape it off. So I'm gonna take a piece of my non-tack tape and I'm gonna put it right where I plan on drilling. Right in the crook of the neck, right there. And with the drill bit, I'm actually gonna mark where I plan on drilling. And that's gonna be right about there. And I'll just give it a little spin. Before I do any drilling, I've marked the spot, but now I have to set kind of the depth of the drill bit, because I don't want to go too deep and I don't want to go too shallow either. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and compare the drill bit to the strap button. With my thumb, I'll hold the position of roughly the end of the strap button screw. And then what I'm going to do is take some tape and mark that position off. This will give me an idea of where I need to stop as I'm drilling. So now the bit's been taped off and I'm gonna do a quick double check just to make sure that it's deep enough. And there it goes, it's perfect. So the first things first, when using a power tool, make sure to get your beard out of the way because the last thing you want is your beard wrapped up in a hole in your guitar. It's a real messy situation. So once that's done, go ahead and position the drill bit over the spot that you've marked and then kind of hold it so that it's going into the meat of that part of the neck. We don't want to hold it in an angle like that or down deep. We want to position it right towards the middle of the neck and then slowly begin to drill. All the way down to where you set the depth. and then out. So now all you have to do is position the strap button and then screw it in with a Phillips head screwdriver. So there you have it, your strap button's installed. Now, as you're doing this, you might have to drill a little bit further. We actually had to when we were installing this one. It's okay, just be very, very cautious. Sometimes the screw's a little bit longer, sometimes the felt compresses. If you have to drill again, just be careful. One last thing, after you fully tighten the strap button, make sure that the strap button itself doesn't spin. We wanna make sure that that screw's all the way in and seated nice and firm, because that is gonna be what's holding your strap to the guitar and ultimately 
holding your guitar up off the ground. We don't want it to come crashing down. So make sure that strap button screw is nice and secure. And there you have it. Make sure to blow the dust off and go ahead and put on your favorite strap and run around your house and play. Walk around your house and play. Don't run. You don't want to run with your guitar. Walk around. It's actually kind of fun. If you're about to do a little acoustic guitar maintenance, make sure you have the right tools before you get started. I've compiled a list of all the tools that I own and use, some of which are surprising little tricks that I've learned from my luthier friends. To get the list of my top 20 tools for DIY acoustic guitar maintenance, go ahead and click the link here in the video or in the description, enter your email, and I'll send it to you right away.